hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video we are going to start work on our home or main page I mean we will add a let's start this I mean you will understand it so okay so we are going to add uh, something that is a text uh, a text box in which you will get uh, input from a user about post description or you can say blog description and then image we will get from the user and then we will add a button which is for uh, uploading that blog uh, to the firebase storage and firebase database and then we will retrieve it here on our home page so yeah, i mean uh, let's do that so come here to the main page and here if you remember we have on our this page we have this container i mean this div which has this class container and id container now in here let's start work so we are going to create a div and please follow the exact same steps which i am doing here do not skip anything and now for our understanding you can also just add a comment so that uh, I mean you can uh, remember all these things later on let's add a comment by this okay and then in here you can just I mean let's give it some comment like block post area okay and then just add some random this thing i mean this is just a comment so that we can uh, differentiate between our this code from the rest of the thing which is here on our main page okay here it ends let's a uh, blog post area ends here this is just a comment anyways so let's add a jumbo tron class to it and the background of this will be dark if you have seen uh, i hope you remember in the introductory video you see the blog post area so let's add uh, another div and this will be our class container text center now uh, just like for the sign up i mean we have to uh, add over this block section this whole thing in a form tag inside that form tag we will do all these things so yeah sorry we can add, open a form tag and now in here let's give id to our this one so this will be let's give it the same id which is main dash form Okay, as this is our main page so main dash form is the id now inside the first div inside this form tag i mean uh, we are going to add our text area so div let's give it a class which will be our form group as this div is a form group belongs to the form tag and in here let's add our text area tag so yeah i mean the type of this will be text and uh, another thing which we need is to add the number of rows okay so it will be five and let's add a hint i mean a placeholder and it will be description or you can say post description or whatever you like then we can add class form control and let's give id to our this one which will be our main desc which means description on the main page so yeah that's it now next thing which we need is our another div for getting file i mean image from a user so after this div we can add another div and then let's just copy paste this form group class paste it here so yeah let's add 
go tag and the type of this will be file class form control and then the id will be main dash image or picture but you have to remember this idea i mean you will use this when a user select any image from his uh, pc i mean from the store from his pc or mac or whatever okay so main dash uh, image is the id for this and the next thing is i mean we have to display any type of message alongside with it so we can display it in a div tag that is i mean in case of any uh, invalid let's say if a user select a video file audio file then we will tell the user that this is basically uh, not a valid image so the class of this will be invalid dash feedback and we can say that is please choose a valid picture or image or whatever now once the user select any image i mean a valid image then after that we have to display that image on the screen just to let the user know that this picture is selected so for that let's add a div tag and let's add this form group class to it as usual and then in here we have to add our img tag for displaying the image okay first of all id for this will be selected dash image make sure to use the same ids which i am using okay so that you can i mean there will be no confusion for you guys later on okay it will be 250 and height will be 150 source okay src hash so after this div tag we need a progress bar i mean when a user click on upload button or save button or you can say a post button then we have to display the uh, progress bar and let the user know that uh, you have to wait two or three seconds in order to upload this new block to the firebase storage and database so for that we can say div let's add a div for that and in here we will add our progress so class form group form this group and in here we can add a div progress bg dash secondary and then in here and say div just add zero percent which will be just for displaying purposes and then in here i mean inside this div tag the starting tag we can say class progress dash bar bg dash success now we have to uh, access this using a unique id so let's give id to it and we can say upload dash progress and let's add some width so we can say width zero percent and yeah now after that we just need a button so after this tag we can just say div class form group and let's add a button here the button tag now inside i mean we have to pass id to it so the id will be let's give id to it as save dash 
blog type will be button and let's add some styling to it so with 150 px semicolon height Sixty px, and then we can add a class to it. So you can say btn btn light bg dash light. Let's add the text color which will be text dark. So btn btn light bg dash light text dark. So okay, I mean that is okay now the name of this button we have to add here and it will be our post or you can give it name like upload or save whatever you want i just give it name is post the thing which is matter is basically their id okay make sure to use the same id which i am using okay so save log is the id for this button now yeah that's it after this form tag let's add a div which you will be needing is div and we can give id to it as result since we will be displaying the blog i mean we will be retrieving it and display it on the same page which is our main page basically which we refer here on the ui as home I mean we will connect it to this button which is home so let's just save it and see basically uh, what we got on this screen here so here you can see this is the thing which we got here on our screen now what we're gonna do is just to give some margin from the top so come here I mean in here this is our blog post area let's add a style to it and then margin top margin dash dog a top and 15 px will be good let's see how it looks save all and refresh the page so here you can see it okay now it looks good now uh, what we're gonna do next is that when this uh, blog post area ends here okay basically this is our whole section now after this let's add a horizontal line using the hr tag and then we will add some space from the top and we are going to add all new blocks i mean where we will basically display then our all post since you know in this video we are going to design the whole ui and yeah i mean let's see up to which extent we can make it okay in this video tutorial so after this blog post area and here i am going to add another comment let us just copy paste this and here we can say now this is just to uh, i mean for the easiness of a, i mean a coder i mean so that we can remember our code that basically where we wrote uh, which piece of code okay so i just give it a comment that is after blog post area after blog post area okay just for our understanding and then let's add another one which will be uh, after blog post area end here means i hope you understand it i mean you can just add comment for your easiness so that you can remember the whole thing so let's use our hr tag and then after that you can also use the uh, margin top i mean uh, the div which we will use after that and we will add that is all new blogs uh, just as a heading and we will display it uh, but also I mean you can uh, use brex which is basically html5 tag or html tag which is br okay so yeah I mean this is the tag which we use basically to give some space uh, from the top that is break if I show you first let me uh, add here a dev tag where we are just going to say that is first let's add some styling to this which will be class text dash center bg dash 
light text dash dark and then let's add a h3 tag and we can say all new blocks let's see what we got there here you can see this horizontal line and then we have this all new blocks here you can see it and these are basically the breaks the three breaks tag which we use okay so it just work like margin top so anyways I mean now after this uh, all new blocks uh, we have to display all the blocks which we will do in the next video but in this video we are going to validate this form also so for that uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a hr tag one more time and one break statement i mean break tag so let's just add it here hr br and after this we have to display all our uh, post once we do all the relations so over that let's add a div tag which comes after this new blocks I mean we have to display it after that so here we can say div class row container dash fluid remove this one okay container dash fluid bg dash 3 now after that let's add another div tag class call dash sm dash 12 id okay i mean not a class which is the id so here we will display all our posts so i mean our blocks so let's give it the id blocks to it so yeah i mean this is something which is related to the next tutorial and we will be uh, retrieving and displaying all our blocks from the firebase database and firebase storage so now once you do this i mean this is all our uh, all about our ui now we have to first uh, do the form validation for this thing okay so uh, the first thing is that is let me tell you you can also do it or we can also add another script tag okay so what I'm going to do after this comment which is our which ends here basically let's do an, a let's add a separate script tag for the uh, I mean for the uh, validation and retrieving and uploading of data so I'm going to just copy this and then paste it here so that we can remember it okay so we can just give it a name as uh, let's say validation and let's say uploading of blogs or you can say post blogs okay and then let's add and i mean add another one which will be our that is validation and uploading for post blogs ends here that's it just for our understanding and then you can just add a script tag and now at first place we have to uh, verify i mean give some uh, image types for the file so we can say valid and give it a name as valid image types and then in here we have to pass it so we can just say image slash gif let's just copy paste this copy it comma paste comma paste make sure to add a semicolon here first and png jpeg now what's next we have to uh, I mean hide our this uh, I mean at the first attempt uh, when a user has not select any image we have to hide that uh, basically that image kind of thing once the user select the image then we will uh, basically display it so we can say dollar hash 
sorry insert the double quotation and if I show you then the ID for this one is selected image okay which is this one so make sure to uh, use the same IDs okay so dollar and then in here we can say hash selected image dot height and if you save okay save it and then come to the browser and refresh it and then you will get this thing okay here you can see that thing is gone now it looks pretty cool now we have to add some radiation for the other field but first uh, I mean for the image uh, we can say function I mean once the user select the image we have to display it so let's say I mean we create a function for that by the name preview image let's access it by image or we can give it some proper name that is image underscore block now inside this function you can say var reader equals to new file reader reader dot on load close to function exception e now we have to display it i mean once the image is uh, the user select okay so we have to display it here uh, the image is valid so just pass this id here which is selected uh, image dot a double t r now first we have to say src and put a comma here e dot target e dot target dot result and let's add some styling I mean which is selected image dot fade in which is a related I mean this is basically related to the jQuery I think okay fade in and then we can say a reader dot read data uh, read as data URL and then pass this image blog dot files zero that's it and after that now if you want you can test the application and now when you select image from your PC or Mac it will display here on this uh, here okay in this area but I'm just going to uh, complete this quickly but okay okay wait one second before testing one thing which you need related to the selected image let me check first we have something which is which is our basically this IMG tag okay I mean we have to display it here so we have not added something for it I mean what we're gonna do we can access it this one sorry is this one input tag basically I mean the user has to click on this uh, button which is basically will be a browse button and then we will get the image so we can access it by the name main ID main dash image so what we're gonna do here is that let's just paste a oh, sorry just copy this first and paste it here okay and then we can change this to main image make sure that you use that id which we use here okay main dash image yeah dot change function and then here put two curly braces now make sure to put semicolon here and then we can say preview thumbnail basically a uh, preview image method okay which is our this one preview image we have to call this method here and we can say this or preview image method pass this to it now once the user click on this post button uh, what we're gonna do I mean we have also to do some valid, uh, add some validation for our things let me do it I mean let's do it quickly step by step 
first we have to access our that button by the ID so let's just copy paste this and let's check the ID for that which is our save block so just copy this name and let's just change it here so when a user click on it so we can say dot click function put to curly braces make sure to put a semicolon here and then let's move it to the next line so first of all we have to uh, get the description so but if the description is empty or something like that then what we gonna do is okay sorry just copy this then paste it here sorry I don't know why I am just just paste this okay and remove this now let's see what's the description for our I mean the ID which is basically man desk let's just paste it here and then dot remove class is dash invalid and we have to pass it inside the double quotation well I'm really sorry for this thing okay is invalid and same we will do for our main image okay so main image remove class is invalid now once uh, the user writes some description and the image is selected we have to get it and store it inside some variable so we can create a variable for this for the description we can say desc equals to now for the time saying let's just copy paste this main desk dot well okay now the same we will do for the thumbnail I mean getting the image so we can give it uh, a name as uh, image underscore let's give it some different name because we are using that so instead of image I am going to give it a name as picture block or simple picture so uh, let's just pass this ID here is our main image and let's confirm this if we are using it the same which is this one okay main image yeah main image dot pop files zero so now we have to check if desk is empty if not with the exclamation marks desk then we have to do something in that case and what will be, that is uh, we will display our tag basically okay which is our now here uh, let me tell you we are basically uh, removing our main desk which is our this thing which is in case of let me tell you if let's say uh, the image type is different okay then we have to give some feedback you can also do it using the javascript that is to uh, display a pop alert that is uh, let's say please select a valid image and please write some description before uh, clicking on the post button okay which is this one okay so I mean this is just uh, that thing I mean we are doing some validation here now you will understand it when uh, we complete it so anyways just copy paste this main desk dot add class is invalid and then return then we can do for the image or picture we can say if picture 
counts equals to null then this thing is the id my name is add class invalid and then return also uh, for checking the this is just to check if the uh, file tag or you can say the file uh, it is empty or not now we have to check the uh, also the type valid image type so we can say dollar dot in array picture type now after this type put a comma we have to call our valid images types and if it is greater than zero then it will have some problem so what we gonna do is I mean just copy this and yeah paste it here but if you know to do some changes then we can do it later but for now just add this now as I told you if a user select any invalid image or anything that we will basically display here this one this div which is our invalid image if I show you then basically this thing okay invalid feedback for this uh, image now we have to also I mean we write the code here but we do not we still did, uh, did not add a, a div for this thing okay if the description is I mean we are adding this class which is, is invalid so we have to add this div the same div which is invalid feedback for our uh, description so how we can do it just copy this and then uh, come here after this text area you can just paste it so make sure that it has this class okay because it is uh, related to the bootstrap and we are accessing it so invalid dash feedback and let's change this which is please enter or let's say whatever i mean write some description first I mean if this field is empty now let's just save it okay let's come here to the browser let's refresh the page and I'm going to click on this post button without writing the description and cho uh, choosing image here you can see please choose a uh, valid picture now what's next I think this one tag is not uh, appearing but anyways uh, let's just choose image first click here and yeah let's open this pop-up and let's select any image I'm choosing this one and the image is not displaying here so there is a problem even if we click on post it says please choose a valid picture now this is not something I mean there is some problem in the validation so let's just let me quickly confirm this everything so first of all we have this text area the id for this is main desk and if we go to the script then we are accessing it so description thing i mean the description tag is okay everything is okay here we have some problem okay that is if this is less than zero not greater than zero greater than zero means that it is good i mean less than uh, less than zero just add this and let's check hopefully this time it will work but before testing let's test this test this just save it refresh it let's click here please choose I don't know why the description thing is not appearing here but anyways let me refresh this I don't know why this cursor is here and the place holder is even not displaying so what's going on here man you know what I mean that is why uh, we are not getting that error I mean even if this thing is empty because the cursor is already here so it means that there are something here okay even if it is empty that is it means that 
the user has write something so that's why that one is not appearing and we have to fix this only then we will end this video tutorial I mean this one if you come here and here you can see we have used this type okay let's just remove this I want to show you something I mean we do not need this if we do not write this okay I mean this type there is no need of it let's just remove this let's check it without this type property and then we can see even then it is not working but anyways okay so I understand this problem okay let me tell you one thing as I told you here you can see even the placeholder is not displaying here and the reason for this is basically if you click on post here you can see only this uh, invalid feedback is working while for the description one uh, that one is not working because the cursor is here and if you move cursor here back okay and here you can see the description if you now click on button then it says please write some description first I mean first this one uh, will appear here and then if you write some description and then click post then here you can see then the second one it will come to the second that please uh, choose a picture valid picture first so the thing here is that we have to do something I mean in order so that that cursor start from here and the problem is basically related to this text area which we end in the next line and there is no need to text uh, to end this here all you gonna need is just to move this to the first line alongside with this text area starting tag okay I just move it to here here you can see it okay and this is our text area starting tag here you can see I hope you uh, you can see the highlight area okay and this one is our ending tag now if you uh, just save it and then just uh, refresh it then here you can see the description okay so first we write some description first here you can see it and then if I click post and here you can see the image one I mean we have to choose some image if we now uh, choose some image okay and then click post and here you can see uh, both one is working fine but one thing which is now still not working is basically displaying this image here okay so that we can know I mean the image name you can see it is already selected and even uh, the uh, validation message uh, messages or tags or divs is already working that is if the description is empty then it will say that please write description and if the image is empty image file is not selected it will say please select a, a file first I mean picture first but we have to display that image and we, ha we have already write the code for that but still it is not working so we have to check the tag first which is our this one tag which is img and the id for this is selected image and now if we just come back here to the scripts then we will understand it that is selected image so here basically we need to add a validation instead of this reading file directly what we're gonna do is we can say if image blog dot file files and image blog dot files zero then you can just paste that code here basically uh, using this reader we are reading the file and their attributes fed in reader dot and then when a user click on that browse button then we have to call this preview image method and we have to pair, uh, pass the that image basically by using this what we're gonna do here is that let me tell you one thing here you can see uh, that is uh, we are hiding the ing tag which is basically our selected image I mean the ID for the ing tag now we are hiding this now what we are going to do uh, here inside this our preview image that is we add a validation and then we are reading our that image file basically and uh, upon clicking on this uh, button which is our choose file 
uh, which is our input tag basically and we are accessing it by main dash image okay then we call this method which is preview image this now as you know we are hiding this so we have to show that image i mean we have to show that image once it is selected as you know now when we uh, select image only name display here okay e everything is working fine but we have to just write this thing this is so simple i mean instead just pass copy this and paste it here and just change this to show okay and once you change this to show then you have to save all just come here to the browser just refresh the page click first write some description okay then you have to uh, okay before clicking that what i'm going to do just click here and it says now please choose a valid picture so it is working fine now let's click here choose image and here you can see it if you click now on post then here you can see everything is working fine so yeah i mean that is so cool this is incredible so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we are going to display our this data i mean the post description image first we will upload the image to the firebase storage and then we will store the description and image link to the firebase real-time database and then we will display it here on our home page so yeah, that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe don't forget to follow me on my instagram account for recent updates take care of yourself bye for now